you know, when we started, you know, Charlie started off playing rec ball, like a lot of kids do, um, you know, up to nine you, a little bit of summer all-star, then at six, four, three. And, you know, we were, as parents, you know, I wasn't a baseball guy growing up. And uh, as parents, you just, uh, you you know, you want your, you look for a program where the kids, you know, enjoy being there, feel good about themselves, supporting coaching staff, uh, good families, uh, and then just good fundamentals. And then as Charlie said, trust the program to put put your son on the right team for that upcoming year. And so we just kind of followed that process. And it really is a process and a journey, just one step at a time and have no idea what it takes to play where. Obviously when Charlie, we, we were trying to talk Charlie into go somewhere academic and smaller and play baseball. Uh, we were very intimidated by the SEC experience. But Charlie said, look, I'm going to spend this much time doing it. I want to, I want to bet on myself. And and um, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, we're prepared. We said, okay. And so he jumped in and did that. So it's really been fun to, you know, watch Charlie work through that process and, um, you know, the life skills that come out of that, you know, the ups, the downs, the, the grinding every day and dealing with all of that. Um, that's probably the most excited. Obviously, seeing the successes along the way are a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, but just watching the, and get more and more consistent in the day in day out work and, um, and still being a good teammate. And, you know, uh, that, that whole, that whole well-rounded process has been a lot of fun. Well, yeah. And no, first off, I feel really lucky to just have uh, had the opportunity to try out every year, just, um, you know, just being able to come back and do it every year was awesome. But is the relationships with, with all the guys that I've met and, you know, like, like my dad said, and, and, and the coaching staff, you know, it's, you progress through and you start to have the same coaches again that you had when you were younger. And so it's familiar faces around the, around the complex all the time. It's, it's a place that I felt comfortable playing, which I think is, is a big thing for baseball. You know, if the relationships I'd made with guys through the, the downtime between games, you know, the, the going to eat at restaurants, like when you got the double header um, and coming back to the field after that, it's just something that, I don't think every organization has just the gel that the guys get with the coaches. Um, you know, it's, it's when you start to cycle back, like I said, it's, it's really cool to, to have those relationships with coaches as you go through your recruiting process and, and get older and get better. Um, it's six, four, three. It was, it was never even really crossed my mind to leave just because it was, it was such a comfortable place to play um, and with such a comfortable group and, and a coaching staff that, obviously cared a lot about our development which was was what we were looking for going to it but as from a parent perspective i mean going back to the kids i mean i think more than anything you just your 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 son needs to feel good about going to the field and playing and wherever that is whatever level wherever he is in his development is really important because it it really has a big impact on it should have a very positive impact on self-esteem, learning about working hard and learning how to deal with failure and, and, and deal with success. And so that uh, I think from an advice perspective, it's more just that, I mean, we we all are competitive people, but just staying focused on the, on the process. It's, it's, it's one step at a time and it's just being in the right place where they enjoy being there but also getting the fundamentals. I mean, we were very focused on um, the building blocks of, of becoming a baseball player, you know, keep the kinks out, build the right way so that your son can take it as far as he chooses to take it. And, uh, and you know, that's, that's kind of the recipe we followed, had no idea where it would go or that it would end up here, but, um, but I've had to go back and do it again with follow that same approach.